Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. And today, we're back again to another Puggy Fuji 3 Reactions. It's been a while since I've done one of these. So today we're going to react to a scary story, and it's called, um, My Creepy Coworker Has a Crush on Me by Stephen D. Well, you guys might be surprised at this, because um, I've actually seen, um, I've seen Corey Kitchen do this reaction, um, in one of his uh, Spooky Scary Sunday videos. Oh, I think it was one about the deep web, I don't know which one, but... Anyway, without further ado, let's get... Let's start it. 321, let's go. Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get yourself oh, protected online today about. with NordVPN.com slash D and use my code StevenD to get 75% off a three-year plan plus an extra month free. Stick around until the end of the video. Back okay. when Sarah was 17, she worked at a small local bakery. There were less than 15 employees spread across all the night and day shifts, so they only had a few people working during the day. One of right. those people was Dave, the delivery driver. Oh, Dave. The first time they met, Dave immediately gave Sarah an off vibe. He was in his mid-50s and way too friendly to a teenage girl. Uh. He told her that yes, he could be annoying, but no one worked harder than he did, so just ignore his antics. Sarah then recalled that okay. when she signed the paperwork, they never asked her to submit a background check. And in hindsight, that should have been red flag number two. Over what? the course of the year or so that she worked with Dave, Sarah tried very hard to ignore him. He was rarely outright creepy, but he was always oh, just a bit no. too friendly. No. He would stick around long after his shift was over to talk to her and another pastry chef. He always uh, wanted to lick the bowl after she finished making rice cookies. Uh, he would always stand in front of the what? racks or equipments or ingredients just enough that sometimes her oh, hand dude, would get away from while her, reaching man. for something. Dave always stood just a little uh, too close. Creep, Dave was constantly asking Sarah about her life, what she liked, what she did for fun, if she had a boyfriend. Almost daily, he would tell her how a nice girl like her should have a boyfriend, how maybe a boyfriend would be Get your hands off her, you weirdo. Sarah let Jeez. this slide because sometimes older people can say things that were meant differently in their time. But then it was the concert invites. Every other week he had tickets to one concert or another. Once he figured out Sarah's favorite genre of music, what it was almost exclusively tickets to bands she definitely Oh my to see. gosh! But she also knew that she should not go anywhere with him. Then her what birthday the came. What? He bought her a t-shirt and it was two sizes too small. He told her to try it on after work and text him a photo and proceeded to give Sarah his phone number. He no. didn't ask for her number. She said no. No. He asked the other pastry chef for her number, but she had her back and yeah, smart as move. well. Yeah, see, because if you are ever in the situation... Tell your parents to call the cops on this man. Hacks and all, bro. Don't trust them. If you ever, if you have a coworker who works with you at the same place, if it's a pizza restaurant, uh, fast food, or a bakery, don't trust them. Don't. If they have a crush on you, never ever trust them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> He also brought two tickets from another band that Sarah had been wanting to see. VIP section, 21 plus only. He said no. he could get her in, she just had to go with him. <laughs> this no. continued for a while. Sarah brought it up to one of her bosses, but they laughed it off as, Oh, classic, classic Dave. Dave. When he wanted a hug on his birthday and hugged her without consent, there's Dave for you. Offer When he pulled up his shirt and showed his abdominal scar from a snowboarding accident, no. well, that's just Dave. No respect for boundaries, oh. but he was a good worker. <laughs> Sarah even considered having one of her big strong male friends come in oh, under the guise man. of being her boyfriend oh, just to play <laughs> Dave. She was repulsed by him, but he hadn't really done anything to classify himself as a predator. Of course he besides did! asking for her number, he had never tried to straight up harass her, and besides the odd hug or two that she was too shy and afraid Yo, to refuse, Sarah, speak he hadn't up. gotten super physical. 
And then one day, Dave was gone. His name disappeared from the employee roster. Sarah's boss asked to see her in the office. She informed her that Dave was oh, yeah, what happened? employed at their business. Dave had been fired. He was fired because Dave was a... I'll have to cut that out. Another I'll have to cut that, that out also. Doesn't want to think about. They had never background checked him, and when they contacted a friend in the police department, they found out that Dave had been lying on lots of paperwork. Hiding the fact that he was a convicted felon and not notified no. anyone when he moved. Tell the police. Yeah, yeah, smart move. Smart move. To the police smart department's move. attention, they had a few more charges to add. They found out because apparently he had been stalking and harassing one of the clients he delivered to. After his termination, what? Dave showed up to work what? one day. He had a weapon. Is that a him, but Sarah never found out what he had. They told him to leave or the police would be called. And he ended up leaving in handcuffs. Sarah was extremely relieved that she wasn't there that day. It's been a while since she worked at the bakery, but sometimes she still thinks about how badly things could have gotten had she gone to even one of those concerts with him. Now that we know the truth behind Sarah's ex-co-worker Dave, it's totally possible he's also a creepy stalker and if Sarah wants to be safe from this guy finding her location or tracking her activities online, I would definitely recommend NordVPN because it would protect your online privacy from potential hackers spying on you. NordVPN allows you Darn to securely phone. access I'm the recording. private network, they have thousands of servers over 61 countries with no data logging and military grade encryption. Sarah can make it look like she's in any other country and Dave will find Finally, back off. Just go to nordvpn.com slash stevend today and use my code stevend to get 75% off a three-year plan plus an extra month free. If you guys enjoyed this oh. video, then please give it a thumbs up. Follow me oh. on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Oh, if you guys man, have your oh, own man. interesting was... stories that you would love to share, then please email me and I will see you in the next oh. video. Steven D, you made a good story. But bro, this is, I guess this is one of the reasons I shouldn't have me a job, because, I mean, I have to, but, man, because, dude, if you have a co-worker who has a crush on you and tries to do any of, these, any of this stuff with you, you gotta say no and speak up, because if I was in that situation, I mean, if there was a girl who had a crush on me, if I was in that situation, I would walk away and say no, 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 sorry, Bob. Well, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. I'll put a link to Stephen D's video in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.